the rigid beam BC shown in the figure is supported by rods A, rods 1 and 2 that have diameters of 0.875 inch and 1.125 inch respectively. For a uniformly distributed load of W equals 42,000 pounds per feet, determine the normal stress in each rod, assume L equals 14 feet and A equals 9 feet. <coughs> So here is the figure, and you are asked to define the. You are, you are asked to determine the support. Uh, what's that? The normal stress in this rod in this rod. Okay. So first of all, let's draw a free body diagram for it. Okay. So here is the beam. Here's the beam right here, the two supported rods. So I have upward, uh, some upward direction is the positive direction because in tension. And here is the distributed load. So as it stated, W equals 4200 file per feet. So I can calculate this force is equal to 4200 times A is 9 feet, L is 14 feet. So 4200 times 9, which gives me 37,800 pounds. And because this is a rectangular distributed load, so uh, the force is acting in the middle. Of the distributed load, which is uh, 9 divided by 2, 4.5 feet away from C. <clears throat> okay. Now, so as you can see, we have uh, one unknown, two unknown. So there's no summation. You cannot, we cannot use the summation about the x axis because there are no force in the x direction. Uh, summation about the y axis, we have two unknown, so cannot solve for it. What about the moment? Because this is in equilibrium, so the moment is equal to zero. And if you take the moment at any point, not any point, at either B or C, you can solve for the other unknown. So let me take the moment about point C, okay? And suppose clockwise direction is a positive <coughs> direction, okay? So summation of the moment about point C equals zero that gives me because this force is down so negative 37 800 times 4.5 feet plus this force is clockwise direction so positive ba ba times the distance 14 feet then solve for the unknown that i got ba equals 1200 one 12150 pounds okay now let Take the summation about oh, the y direction. Direction. So I have BA, which is uh, twelve thousand one fifty pounds minus because it's downward force. So minus thirty seven eight hundred plus CD equals zero. Then solve for CD, I got two fifty twenty five thousand six hundred fifty pounds. Now. Since we know the forces in each rod, now we can find the normal stress in it. So let's start with uh, cable AB. So the normal stress in AB cable AB is equal to the force AB divided by, divided by the area of the cable. So AB, I found it was 12,150 pounds divided by the area of this rod. So area of this one is equal to pi over 4 times diameter squared. Well, let me say it this way. If uh, let me write it up here. So the area of area of the circular shape is equal to pi over 2 times r square in r is the radius, right? r is the radius. But uh, what if I use the diameter? So if I use the diameter, I have to divide it by 2 to get the radius, right? So distribute this out. What, what do we get? Oh, 
Oh, oh my, my, my bad, my bad. So if you use... Ah, oh, shit, shit, shit. Bad, bad, bad. So the area of the circle is equal to pi times r squared. If you have, if you know the radius, what if you don't know the radius? What if you don't know the radius, but you are given the diameter? So the diameter, the radius, is equal to the diameter divided by 2. Okay, so just replace r by d over 2. Now they split this out, d square, 2 squared is 4, so I have pi over 4 times d square. Okay, so this is the formula for diameter for a circle if you are given the diameter. And this is the formula for the circle if you use if you are given the radius, okay? So that's why I have pi over 4 times 0 0.875 square here because I am given the ra the diameter. Alright? Calculate this one, I got 20,206 psi converted into ksi, I got 20.2. Doing the same thing for Ross City, I got uh, 25,804 psi, which is also which is the same as 25.8 ksi. Okay, so that's it. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.